we're going to discuss the qualities of a welding inspector. Welding inspectors should possess the following traits in order to become effective with their position. These attributes are summarized in an acronym called CASH, Knowledge, Attitude, Skills, and Habits. We will elaborate these qualities one by one as we progress through the lecture. The welding inspector needs to be at least knowledgeable with the welding processes, welding, weld discontinuities, destructive tests, and NDT. Now, the question is, do you need to be a welder to become a welding inspector? The short answer is no. The welding inspector does not need to be a welder to become an effective inspector, but it does help because of the familiarity and the ins and outs of the production process. Professional Attitude Key Factor for Welding Inspector Success Most important factor in the welding inspector success is being professional. It will require you to be good at what you do and continuously learn as well. The welding inspector needs to make decisions based on facts, as the welding inspector needs to compare the inspection result to legally binding codes. The welding inspector will be obligated to make his decisions in a factual manner based on what is written in the affirmation codes and standards. Ensures that inspections are fair, impartial, and consistent. For example, an NDT inspector inspects a job that will be critical to the schedule of the turnaround activity. Passing or failing will mean that the maintenance activity will be completed on time or else re rework will be done, causing an extension. The inspector should base his decisions on quality and acceptance of applicable codes and standards. The interpretation of his result shall also be consistent when similar weld quality results as such. The welding inspector must be familiar with the job requirements. These inspectors shall work within the parameters of the job specifications and in accordance with the quality control program set by the organization. Ability to understand and apply the various documents describing weld requirements is an important quality of a welding inspector as this involves its main purpose of implementing the quality control program of the organization. The welding inspector must know the applicable codes, standards, and specifications for the weld he is inspecting. Better yet, he also must be certified in doing these inspection activities. Code inspectors are the most common examples of these. Also, these documents provide the most information regarding the what, when, where, and how the welding and its inspection should be done. Careful review of these documents is essential. The welding inspector must state the acceptable quality with regards to the ac acceptable codes and standards. The inspector must raise awareness of the job requirements. He must be able to conduct and implement the scope of work stated in the job specifications and impart those to other personnel or, weld or welders as well. The pre-job review reveals hold points. Related to the first point, careful review of the documents most commonly known as the inspection test plan, will review the hold points in which the inspector must do the inspection and up until that inspection is finished, the succeeding activity will not be able to continue unless it yielded a positive outcome. Requirements are not meant to be memorized. These requirements are better to be known for which standard it is based and the industry it is best suited to. We're going to touch upon the inspection test plan in which most welding inspectors review prior to the start of the inspection activity. As you can see, the activities are listed in the first column, and the subsequent columns indicate the reference documents and the standard criteria in which the acceptance will be based upon. As you can see in the type of inspection, there are three letters. R for review, W for witness, and H for hold point. Review is basically the review of the necessary documentation needed prior to the start of the inspection. This may include review of material certificates, welder qualification, and other procedures. 
For any inspection point stated in the left column, for example, this visual inspection, any of these requirements can be changed to a hold point in the event the inspector needs to ensure that the activity will not cause any defect that will be difficult to detect later on. Joint preparation is one of those activities that needs to be visually inspected, especially for critical applications. It is important that the welding inspector takes the lead on implementing the safety among the work area. Practicing safety habits helps in avoiding injury. As with any other jobs, safety is important to help avoiding injury, fatality, or even death. Knowledge of safety standards Welding inspectors need to be knowledgeable of the safety standards so that they can provide inputs to the safety program and watch for these safety hazards in the field. Unsafe exposures can be mitigated with appropriate controls. But the final and most controllable attribute for the inspector is wearing personal protective equipment. The welding inspector also needs to be trained in safety, not only for himself, but for the shop personnel, so that he can share the knowledge to others and become a good example. Remember that no safety program will become successful if people from across the organization will not follow it. The other essential quality of a welding inspector that will enable him to function properly is good physical condition. The welding inspector must have good vision, either natural or corrected. The acuity on Jaeger J2 should not be less than 12 inch. Natural or corrected vision will suffice as long as they pass the acuity on Jaeger test. The welding inspector shall also prove that he or she is not colorblind. Isihara color blindness is the most common. The welding inspector, more often than not, will be obligated to go to cramped spaces, confined areas, or elevated platforms. Thus, the inspector must be in good physical shape to be able to do these activities, similar to the photo shown. Appropriate work permits must also be issued as part of the safety program of the industry to ensure that the welders, welding inspectors, and other personnel are free from dangerous gases, oxygen-deprived areas, and combustible elements inside the vessel. A good habit of a welding inspector is proper maintenance of inspection records. The welding inspector, after all, the inspection activities needs to be diligent with the documentation so that future readers can use it for reference or if any question arises to the specific inspection activity. These records must be understandable, they should be neat with minimal, minimal corrections if any, and facilitate easy reference. Also, here are the few rules of etiquette in reports. Similar to any other official document, it shall be signed, and if errors are made, it shall be single out, lined out, initialed, and dated. And most importantly, it shall be signed by the inspector. And there you go. That ends the lecture regarding the good qualities of a welding inspector. See you on the next one.